The Trinity, what has God revealed? Objections answered. If you are a Seventh-day Adventist involved with or studying the topic of the Godhead or the Trinity, you will definitely want to get this book. It's a great resource. While it may benefit anyone studying this topic, it is written for an Adventist audience and does cite extensively from Adventist teachings and history. Here are some points to consider. First, the author of this book, who you can see here, is Glenn Parfit in Australia, and you can check out a really neat video interview with him here about the book. The tone of the book is kind of like the way that he looks. He looks like a guy you could sit down with next to at church and talk about an issue in a relaxed, neutral manner, and that's the tone of the book. It's not very argumentative or polemical. However, although it's very neutral in tone, it's definitely very thorough and detailed. You can tell the author has spent a tremendous amount of time carefully defining the issue the terms and different objections and this has caused a problem in a really good way because the book is huge it's 850 pages but what you should know is that the format and layout of the book serves and serves as an excellent resource to have in your church or library for example if you want to learn about the deity of Christ that's all in one chapter and then in the next chapter he carefully addresses many of the objections to the full deity of Christ. Or just the other day, someone told me that the Holy Spirit is not a person because it is sometimes referred to as an it. So I just pulled the book off the shelf, turned to page 260, where Glenn had many excellent answers. For example, Ellen White referred to born children as it. In the children committed to her, every mother has a sacred charge from God. Take this son, this daughter, God says, and train it for me. <laughs> Give it a character polished after the similitude of a palace, that it may shine in the courts of the Lord forever. Just because a person is sometimes called a and it does not mean it's less of a person. I also have this other book, The Trinity by Widden and Moon, and it's also a great book, which I do recommend, but Parfit's book is something you can easily pull off the shelf and look, some, look up some point and easily find an answer. Mr. Parfit has also taken a lot of time to interact with non or anti-Trinitarian literature, and he cites repeatedly from different authors, and this causes a problem for them because Parfit gives many examples where anti-Trinitarians make claims or accusations but give no evidence, or where they confuse the issue, or where they misrepresent others, etc. For those who are familiar with anti-Trinitarian claims, that will not come as a surprise. One problem is that unfortunately, as of right now, this is only sold at the ABC in Australia. So if you want the paperback, you'll have to order from there and have it shipped. Because I am currently in the Philippines, the book plus shipping was about 80 Australian or about 60 US dollars. I was really hesitant about spending that much for this book, but once I received it and have since spent a lot of time with it, it's well worth the cost. Now you might say, Andrew, it's also available on Kindle for only 10 US dollars, and you are correct, but you'll notice it has many bad reviews, and this is because whoever uploaded the Kindle version forgot to provide links for the table of contents. For example, if you wanna to go to page 400, depending on the e-reader that you have, you will have to physically hit the next page button 400 times, and as you can imagine, that's going to drive you crazy. This is because while Mr. Glenn Parfit is the author of the book, it was published on Kindle by Mr. Eric Livingston and Leroy Moore. Now, I tried to contact both of them to encourage them to update the table of contents, which is a very easy thing to do, but unfortunately, both of them are dead, and so they can't make that change. I also contacted the author, Mr. Parfit himself, and spoke to him on the phone, and I told him that I'm personally more than willing to help update the Kindle version, but unfortunately, he has no control over this this, but that's okay anyways because the paperback is well worth it. If people in your church are studying this topic, I highly recommend speaking to your elders or pastor and ask if there is any type of funding available at your church to order several copies so that more people can benefit. Personally, the more that I have studied this issue, the scriptures and the history, the more convinced I am that the Seventh-day Adventist Church 
has a very biblical teaching on the Godhead, all 28 fundamental beliefs of the Adventist Church, including the Trinity, as defined right here, belief number two, are all completely biblical, so I'm very glad to be a member of this church. So I hope that you are also able to enjoy Glenn Parfitt's book. Thank you for watching.